Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so the lighting keeps on going in and out, so I don't know what's happening. The sky is like really gloomy and then I don't know where the sun's gonna come in. I'm just gonna warn you guys from now that the lighting might change a little bit, but welcome back to my channel. So a lot of people probably wonder why I decided that I wanted to work for myself instead of working for people and why I decided to do that. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. Yeah, I'm gonna share some of my work experiences and that's the reason that led me up to knowing that I was like, I need to work for myself. You guys have to let me know down below if any of these situations or experiences resonate with you because girl, like there's some stuff that happened that I'm just like, no, I can't live my life like this. Now, I was gonna wear makeup for this video, but then I was like, you know what? Sometimes you need to just do skincare and take care of your skin because I feel like I have a lot of clogged pores and everything like that and discoloration everything so we're gonna probably do like a chit chat skincare with me <laughs> while I'm talking I'm just gonna be putting on these two things here okay so this one is the formula 10.0.6 draw it out skin detox detoxing peel mask and charcoal plum guys I've been looking for the longest time an affordable peel mask like a mask that you can put on and peel off your face because I've been looking for the longest time one that's just like not too, like in the $40 range the $30 range I don't really want to spend that much on a peel, out mask, a peel off mask but look at these dogs in the community you can hear them from all the way down here they're so far away please comment them down below because I've been looking for the longest time I'm in need of a facial actually and then I also am going in with the generation clay TM ultraviolet brightening purple clay mask so I'm going to be putting these two on my face and we're just going to talk Okay, so with this one, you have to apply it to a freshly clean and dry nose. My nose is clean, it's dry, work. Okay, so throughout high school, so we obviously have jobs when you're in Canada. Like, you obviously have jobs if you want to. I didn't really have much jobs because I was doing sports throughout high school. Like, in school and outside of school, I was doing sports, mainly track and field. So I didn't really have time for a job, but the times that I did, I kind of wanted to because, like, everyone had, like, a part-time job outside of school, and it was just the thing, right? So everyone was doing it. But guys... I had jobs, okay? And I had some great ones, really, really great ones. And I had some really, like, mm, horrible experiences. These experiences is not, like, with customers and me. No, it's experiences with, like, the people that I work with that led me to want to um, work for myself. Because, trust me, there's some, like, ho like rude people out there in this world that are mean for, like, no reason. Like, you didn't even do anything to them and they're just rude to you but anyways so one thing that led me to become like an entrepreneur work for myself is because of me time I noticed when I was working for people that you barely got you time <laughs> I'm gonna figure out a better word for you time but you basically you barely got personal time for yourself for your friends and for the things that you love so when you work for people I remember working and my whole life was just working I didn't have time to do the things that I like I didn't even have time to relax and just sit back and be like Okay, I can relax. No, that didn't happen. Entire time, is it raining? The entire time, I was like, work, 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 and work again. Okay? It was so bad. I hated it. I never had time for myself. Like, say if there's seven days in a week, I would be working for it six days out of the week I'll get like one day off and then it's only a day so you can't really do as much as you want in a day that you have off and then the whole entire time when I was off I was just dreading I was like oh my god I have to go to work tomorrow like I couldn't even focus on my day off because it was just so like oh see this is why you guys have to do jobs that you love because waking up at 5 in the morning when you do jobs that you love is nothing because you're doing something that you love and you're looking forward to it but when you're working for people and you're working at a job that you're just like eh like the whole motive is just money you don't really want to do all that stuff right and trust me I just valued personal time from that experience because I was like man <laughs> I was like man I cannot be working for people and not have time for myself and my friends or for the things that I love like yeah overall it was just whack like you'd rarely get days off the only time you get days off is probably Christmas day depending on what job you have and then I'm from Canada so like Canada day and that's really it I just didn't like it you couldn't even enjoy things that other people would enjoy yeah so anyways that was annoying and they would act like it was such a big deal like the world was ending if you couldn't come to like one shift say you felt like horrible you're sick and stuff they act like it was the end of the world if you couldn't make it they're yelling at you on the phone and they're telling you you have to come in and all this horrible stuff and you're just like i don't have time for this number one go learn how to talk to people properly and number two stop you guys have like 500 employees find someone else to cover type of thing right one day say that you went to work every single day you've been worked on holidays too and you couldn't make it on one day they 
They're just, they just switch. Like they like you for the whole year. Sometimes you can't make it for one day or one shift. They they yell at you like there's no tomorrow. So that was annoying. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And the thing is, you work so hard to build your company and build them and everything like that. And they treat treat you like trash at the end of the day. I didn't like it. I didn't like this timing, the scheduling. I never had time to myself. Now another thing was the the scheduling. Like Depending on the job that you have, like sometimes I, when I used to work at the mall, the scheduling was fine at the mall because we would work within the mall hours, which was good. I liked it. If you didn't work at the mall, you had some weird scheduling hours. So say if you would work at, I don't even know, like 11.30 to 8 o'clock at night. Like it's just weird shift hours. I don't know. Like you guys know what I mean. Like you have just weird shift hours and you're just like, you start off in the day, you go to work and it's bright outside. And then you come out from working as dark as midnight. And you're just like, what? Like, all my day is gone. You don't even have time. Like, even after work, I used to work so hard for these people. Any job that I had, like, you'd get overworked, man. And then you come out of work and you're just tired. You can't even do nothing. You can't go out and do anything. You can't go do groceries. You can't do anything. You're just tired and you just want to go home, eat, and sleep, and stay home. Like, you don't even have time or motivation to do anything else. And speaking of you being tired after work, like, on your days off, you would have to use that day off to do everything you couldn't do after work, after those work hours, because number one, it's either you were too tired and worked out, overworked, or number two, you, you finish work way too late and everything is close. So you can't even go to your doctor's appointment. You can't go get your eyes checked. Like, uh, when I say it was so annoying, it was so annoying. I remember working for people and like a lot of these retail jobs or just jobs in general, they don't allow you to sit. So imagine if you're a cashier in like Canada, you don't sit down. So for like eight hours, that's not including if you want to do overtime. The only time you get to sit down is when you're on your break. They don't even allow you to like lean up against like where your cashier desk is. They act like, like it's the end of the world if you lean. Oh my god, you can't lean, stand up. And then I remember my back used to like hurt me and stuff. Like I used to go home and like the, my lower back was just hurting so bad all the time you would stand up for such long hours yeah and some jobs like you would have to wear like high heels and some retail jobs you have to be wearing high heels like because i worked in a more of a higher end like clothing store and you have to dress like dressed up every day and you have to wear high heels well you didn't have to but it would look more presentable if you wore high heels it just only made sense and imagine being on your feet for like nine hours sometimes i have to be doing overtime and you're just wearing high heels my lower back used to hurt like i used to go home and my lower back was hurting on me okay and i was like no man I can't be doing this for the rest of my life this is just not something that i want to do in jamaica like they're actually lucky down here because they get to sit down in chairs when they're like a cashier and stuff like that which is way better and more like healthy for the body and if i grow older and i have lower back problems i know exactly what it's from from working um at these jobs i have to be putting on like a thick layer on these because when i peel it off I want everything to come off like smoothly. I felt like it wasn't worth it. Like I'm just tiring out my body. Speaking of rudeness, so there's just like people in higher positions. This is not everybody, but in my experiences, some of the people who are in higher positions, they just talk to you so rude for no reason. Like I don't know what it is. Not everyone, but some of them. You're just like chill. Like no one did anything to you. Relax. One thing I learned is like the people that you work with aren't your friends. You may like come out of work with like one two friend that you like and you generally talk to outside of work. Majority of them are not your friends. They don't care for you. I don't care for you either. So the managers they just talk to you rude. They feel like just because they manage you, they can talk to you in any way, and you should just submit, be submissive to them and listen, or you'll lose your job. And that's not how it works. I know this it doesn't work because I know a lot of people like lash back out at these like managers that are rude and put them in their place and let them know which is like necessary like we're all adults learn how to talk to people properly no one did anything to you and then you abuse their power on you like they'll do stuff to just like oh i can do it and i don't like you so i'll just do whatever so i had this one lady right she was an uncle tom or a coon as like black american people would say in america this was a grown a grown black woman she was probably in her 40s and stuff okay and I was a cashier at the time and she was like, like she was a more experienced cashier and so she was working around the customer service desk and she used to like just tell us when our breaks were and that's really it. She wasn't our manager or anything like that. Yeah, it's probably a little bit supervises for the cashiers. Anyways, this is old hag. I'm going to call her a hag because she was rude. She didn't like me for no reason. As soon as I came in, I feel like it's because I was black and she was like one of those black ladies that wanted to be accepted by white people that wanted to 
be the stereotypical white person and I'm just not like that I guess she just didn't like me because I was just black and <laughs> I was just black I didn't act like a stereotypical white person only black people would know exactly those black people type of black people I'm talking about like they just don't like being black and if they see another black person and you're just acting like regular like yourself like you don't strive to be accepted by white people they just don't like you but oh, she's too black anyways so this lady hated me, hated me to the point that I had to go report her to like HR and everything. We had a whole meeting. I really want to get into that story because, girl, I, it was so bad. I quit the job because of her. At the job, she used to just like target me. She used to get on my nerves all the time. I used to get in arguments with her and stuff. She had a problem with everything that I did, any and everything I did, bro. And the job position I was in, I wasn't new to it. Like I've done it before, but I just went to a different location. I transferred over to a different location. And this girl didn't like that either. And I was doing so well. Like, all the managers liked me because I was just doing so well and I was overachieving. They were just happy and stuff like that, right? Um, she, I guess she didn't like that either. And, like, she had a problem with everything. Like, she didn't want me talking. Imagine ha working a nine-hour shift. She didn't want me to talk for the whole nine hours, but everyone else could talk that was near me because there was more than one cashier. So... I was just like, girl, you're messing with the wrong person. On and the irony about it, like she couldn't even walk properly. Like she had a cane and she was like limping. Like she was just miserable with her life. I, that was the worst job ever in my whole entire life with that lady. Still, this day it still affects me, and I hate talking about it because it just gets me upset. Like upset to the point that I feel like I get sad and stuff because it was just like this lady hated me for no reason. After a point, I hated coming to work. Anyway, so I had to go report it to HR, and then we had a meeting and stuff like that. And the lady was just like, she was acting like a little kid in the meeting like she was just trying to argue with me and stuff i was like lady just stop like just stop and she was like you have to look at me when i'm talking i was like i don't have to look at your ass look yeah and like my manager he's like young he was probably like a one year older than me and he was managing all of us even that lady that was in her late 40s she was, he was managing and like he was more on my side like he didn't like the girl because like no one just likes her because everyone complains about her at the job I don't know why she hasn't got fired, but I'm talking about it so bad because I just don't even like the experience. But the whole experience drives me to quit and do YouTube, like branding myself full time because I was just like, I'm never going to that. I'm never going to a job where I don't want to go to. I'm sad at work because this lady's just, she has more power than me. So she's able to do whatever she wants to me and get away with it type of thing. And um she's trying to not make me talk for a whole nine hours i was so miserable there and stuff i let her know exactly what i felt about her i told her never to talk to me again i was like when you see me at work don't talk to me avoid me i was like the only time you need to talk to me is when it's necessary other than that don't talk to me we're not friends we'll never be friends i don't like you like i had to tell her straight up in the meeting in front of the managers and stuff and they didn't care because like no one likes her so that happened but let me know does that happen with you down below have you had jobs where like managers just talk to you so we're like you're less than them you girl or guy outside of work you're a nobody so don't act like you're more than someone like i don't understand people like that they have a little position and they feel like they're more than you you can be the pope you can be the president the prime minister of canada like you're no better than anyone else and don't make other people feel less than you even though you're making only three dollars more than me or you're making like two dollars or 25 cents or 50 cents that's not the only time there was this another time i worked for the shoe store right in the mall and this lady she wasn't even the manager she was just um like a late lead sales so she was she literally made only 25 cents more than me 25 cents more than me and one time i came to work a uh, one minute late one minute late i hate this lady so much i don't like her and she was like probably in her 30s and she was working part-time at like a shoe store anyways that's a whole different story but she she was like she came up to my face she went up to my face bro she's like you're like you're supposed to be here before and checked in before i was like i'm one minute late and you talking to me right now is making me late oh no she's like you're late and i have places to go you can't be coming in late da, da, da. i was like i'm one minute late number one and i had to get food it's either i drop and pass out during my shift or i go get food and i'll be late the one minute and take the consequence for being late right you're like, and since you're late, you're not getting your break. And I was like, what do you mean I'm not getting my break because I'm one minute late? Well, it says 10 minutes on my clock. I pulled out my phone when she said that. I pulled out my phone and showed her. I'm like, I'm one minute late. It was like 4.01. She's like, no, well, on my clock. She's arguing with me. On my clock, it says 4.10. I was like, it's 4.01 on my phone. And I'm showing her my iPhone. And everyone's staring at us and stuff like that, right? And she's like, well, you're not going to get your break. You're late. You're late. Da, da, da. She's making, she, she never liked me from the first time because this is, was a brand new store. And ever since we like um, was building up the store and fixing it up because it was a brand, brand new store in the mall, she just didn't like me. She was so rude. One time she was going to the garbage bin, right? And I cut my finger and I was getting a band-aid and she was walking to the garbage bin i had a cardboard box in my hand and since she was going to the garbage bin i was like oh my god and literally the garbage bin was like i was going to the bathroom that was over here like in the back room and 
the garbage bin it was in the front of the store like inside the store at the front where the cashier was and i was going to the back to the bathroom with like one of the district managers so she could he could give me a band-aid and stuff and i was like oh like can you like bring the carpet box with you so you like since you're going to the gar car garbage anyways she's like no you can go bring it yourself and i was like uh whoa like she was auto automatically mad no you can go bring it yourself i was like what calm down i just asked you something me if she asked me i would have done it because i'm going to the garbage bin anyways anyway so i just put the car the cardboard box down where i was unboxing all the shoe boxes and then i went to the back to get the band-aid and this lady was following me yelling like come back here and pick up your garbage yelling right and i was just turned around and i was like i'm getting a band-aid i need to get a band-aid and she like she literally marched me down following me and then district manager had to turn around and be like what's happening type of thing right and then i got my band-aid picked up a garbage box and went and ever since that she like was just like didn't like me she didn't like me from the get-go i don't know why like obviously the managers talked to her about the whole situation she, they were like you can't be telling someone that they can't get a break and you're not even the manager type of vibe like apologize to me and stuff i was like no like never and then i ended up quitting i'm gonna give you guys a tip for someone who works at a job do not let no one no matter what their position is talk to you the way that they want to and don't let them be rude to you and say something back sometimes you losing a job is more worth than someone talking to you like you're trash and thinking that they can talk to you anyway oh no, not me i don't need these jobs i don't rely on these jobs and even if, even if i did i would still quit and i'll find another job right after like i'm telling you guys that's a tip do not think any minimum wage job is worth it think speaking of minimum wage half of these jobs aren't even worth all the work that you're doing because you worked so much and when you looked at your paycheck you looked at your paycheck let me look see how kind of okay this is dry skin too you look at your paycheck right I put this on dry skin. I was trying to see if I have to wet my skin. So this is a brightening mask. Um, you look at your paycheck and you're getting $300 every two weeks. <laughs> How does someone even survive on that? And I don't even have children and I don't pay bills. So imagine getting $300 every two weeks and my back was breaking for $300. No, sir. No, ma'am. I'd rather get another job. Like, I'd rather just stay home if I'm going to be working $300 every two weeks. So that's six hundred dollars in a month sometimes they'll give you the part-time title name and you're working like full-time hours um yeah you look at your paycheck and i was like this is like who can live off this not me i hate it people talking to you rude you're breaking your back your arm and your legs are tired and you look at your paycheck and you're getting a little bit of money again i don't know how people live off there because a lot of these like jobs that i worked at people were like grown like a lot of these jobs it was me and like a few other people were like the youngest ones i don't know how they lived off of it i barely even live could live off of 500 dollars for a month that's insane i used to like just spend my money on like clothes and just like little things right or like save for a new camera and I mean, like, obviously when I get older and stuff, I'd get a higher paying job because I went to college and university for a degree and stuff. I still wouldn't want to work in environments like that where people are talking to you rude and thinking that they're better than you and you're less than them because they make $2 more than you and they, their position requires you to do this for them. Like, no, that's not how it is. Like, I don't know. Even if there's managers watching this, like, talk to people nice. What you do to people and what you say to people carry on with them for a long time. Whether or not you agree. And... I'm working so hard to build their company when I can use that same strength to build my own. So the money was a no-go. Let me know how much money you guys were making at yours because I was making less than like $900. Even during like the holiday peak season where you're working like so much, I was making I was making like $800. Maybe sometimes I'll hit like $925 after taxes. It was not worth it. Worth it. So I was just like, yeah, I'm time for me to go try and venture out and do things that i like i was like i see everyone else like doing the things that they love and they're making money so why can't i do it why can't you do it because you can obviously it's going to be hard but you can do it once you like something you'll work hard towards it no matter how hard it is you're going to continue because you just genuinely love it and you want to see the results right i want to have children and stuff right and i want to live in a big house and i'm not like bashing anyone who has to work these jobs because you never know people's life and their circumstances and everything like that why i let them that they have to work at like mom or mcdonald's or like, um pandora oh my god i worked at pandora for like a day a day and i quit because the vibe that the manager was giving me i trust me this is like me after me working like many jobs i was like let me apply to pandora i was getting the vibe from the manager first of all the interview they told me it was at like nine o'clock they told me it was at 9 30 and then it was actually at nine o'clock so i reached at 9 30 and they're like oh like the group interview was nine o'clock and i was just like why didn't no one tell me this like why didn't no one call me and update me but they still like hired me they interviewed me for like two seconds and then hired me anyways the manager was giving me like vibes that 
I was just like, this is another Uncle Tom. She was an Uncle Tom because her staff did not reflect her. Like, she was black. Why do you have an all-white staff and you don't have any black people at all? Not even Asian, not even Indian, okay? You only had all white girls. I was just like, I look at all these things because that's odd. If I'm black as a manager, I'm going to try and hire as much black people as I can. As much other, other races as I can in my job. But yeah, it was all white people. And then in their interview, I was the only black person. And I think I was the only black person because I put my name as Ann Adams. I didn't put Anisha Adams. And that was a social experiment that me and this guy did. I was applying for jobs and I was telling him, I was like, why am I not getting called back? He's like, put your name to Ann Adams instead of Anisha Adams. Bro, as soon as I put my name to Ann Adams, I was getting so many responses. And it was the same resume. My only, only thing that changed was my name, first name. I was getting so many responses back for jobs. And that's how I get so much jobs to like... This day, even if I did reply, I'd probably still get jobs. Yeah, I was the only black person in the interview. For Pandora, their lunchroom is the size of a linen closet, and I'm not over-exaggerating. Like, their back room, where they clean, like, the jewelry, and you have your lunch, and you do all your, like, office stuff was all in one safe, small room. It was the smallest, like, employee back room I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I was like, how do you guys even store your jewelry back here? Like, it was so small. Anyways, I quit, and I never went back. That was so funny. Overall, these were the things that led me to want to work for myself, guys. And here I am today making way more money. I'm not stressing out myself, not having anyone talk to me so rude. And I'm doing the things that I love. And you guys can too. If any of you guys are neat, wondering if you can, you can just work towards it. And the thing is, the only way that I was able to like set myself up to be able to do the things that I love was working at these jobs, okay? I had to use the money from these jobs. And then in addition with my allowance I was getting every month, I had to save all that. So my allowance I got every month from my mom plus me working my jobs. I used to save all that money and buy all my gear for YouTube, I, all my gear for photography. And I saved and I saved and I saved. And then once I had everything and I was getting, getting a momentum online, I was getting paid and stuff like that, I quit. So you guys are probably going to need the job until you're able to like sustain yourself when you're getting like clients and you're getting money and stuff like that then you can quit these jobs as i said all these experiences from jobs helped me and helped build me to know what i would ever accept from a job and what, what i wouldn't accept from a job and it helped build me to know what i want in life and working for people is not like, there's literally and you guys like this video comment down below if you agree with, with me there's people out there in this world that's just not going to like you for no reason. Like, you did not do nothing to them. All you did was say hi, and then they just don't like you. Life is all about doing things that make you feel fulfilled. Things that I'm doing right now with my life, I feel fulfilled. I feel happy. I like it, okay? So, in life, do the things that you like. Don't ever be like, ifs or buts. Just go for it. Life is too short, guys. We only have one life. Literally, this is the only life we have. And your life has to be meaningful you'll be much more happier be so excited to wake up in the morning and do the things that you like okay like my end goal and what i want to do is going to be great and i'm going to be working for myself as an entrepreneur but again you guys let me know down below some of your worst work experiences this is not dry yet so we're going to make this dry a little bit that's really it i hope you guys liked it give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys in my next video or vlog